Hey guys, Brian Horton here with BK Forks Academy, and I'm going to be talking to you about a way that you can actually enter a trade properly and take profit by intraday trading. For those who know me know that I love the swing trade. That's when you're in the trade for anywhere between a couple of days to a couple of weeks, and you just kind of let your trade flow while you rack up those pips. But I'm going to teach you how to actually intraday trade when you're in the trade for a few hours to maybe a day or so and it works nine out of 10 times profitable. And so you can find out your entry and take profit. So this is something that you don't wanna miss right after this. My All right, guys, so we have the Great Britain pound and the Canadian dollar. We're on the daily time frame on a daily chart. And that's something that we recommend for you to start out with, regardless if you're intraday trading, if you're swing trading or simply scalping, so that way you can understand which way the market is heading. So we see price is currently here. Okay. So we want to know where price is going to go. OK, so four things that I actually look for when I am analyzing a chart is support and resistance levels. I'm also looking for trend lines and sometimes I have my Bollinger Bands just to confirm my entry. And then I also look for clues. So I go back in history and look for clues. So here's price. I have my Bollinger Bands and we know that these act like support and resistance a uh, agents. OK, so every time you have your candles poking through these bands, we know that in this case, sellers are uh, becoming oversold and buyers have a chance to go in the market. But sometimes that's not the case. So that's why we want to couple this with market structure. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is mark where current price is at. So I'm going to grab my line here. OK, I see prices here. I see this long wick. And then I like to just kind of go back and see what happened previously in the past, which will also help me determine what I'm going to do now. OK, so I see that this long wick has gone here. I have my red line here and I notice if I move this line down a bit, I notice that this wick has been tested multiple times. This price is a sweet spot. OK, so I'll go ahead and show you a visual of what I'm talking about. All right. So we have wicks poking through this line. That means that price is oversold and it continued to go to the upside. OK, here's your long wicks right here. OK, it broke through. It came back and we see a lot of testing going on here. And that's what we want to see to determine where price may go. So if you look back for clues, it will kind of determine what's going to happen in the future. OK, so there's a reason why there's a wick. These wicks here, the wicks tells us a story and it's telling us that sellers are not strong enough to continue that momentum. And we can even drop this line down a bit. And we can see it a bit more where there's wicks are continuing to hit this line or close to it and then it reverses. OK, but now when I look back for clues, I see that price has hit this area here as well. So how do I know price isn't going to come down here and go down, go to the downside? OK, so let me grab my arrow just to kind of give you a visual. So how do I know it's not going to continue to go down, although I see these wicks bouncing off? So that's where Bollinger Bands come into place. All right. So every time, well, most of the times when when you see candles reaching a Bollinger Band, it reverses. Reaching a Bol Bollinger Band, it reverses. So it either reverses to the upside or to the downside, or it's going to go straight. So that's where it goes. So every time it hits, for example, in the bottom of a Bollinger Band is either going to go up or it's going to go to the right. OK, for consolidation. So what I would do is I see this long wick. So what I'm going to do is wait to see if price will go ahead and retest. And it could be too late, but I will wait for it to retest because it's one outside of the Bollinger Band. Here's our Bollinger Band. And the Bollinger Band tells us when when a price is overbought or oversold. In this case, it's oversold. And so now we see this wick bouncing off of this line. So this is our second indicator. 
saying that, hey, price will bounce off and go to the upside. Okay, so one, I have my Bollinger Bands confirming that it's oversold. Two, I have my support line showing history of data that price has bounced off of this level multiple times. And three, I am looking for a trend. Okay, so let me grab my trend line. Okay, so we see that this is currently in a downtrend. We see that this was in an uptrend. Okay, so is this a br the break of a downtrend? Is it coming down? We don't know yet. Okay, so I'm going to get this line here and grab underneath just in case. And so we see that it's respecting this trend line. And once it bounces off, let me delete this arrow. Once it bounces off, it may go to the upside here. So the key is that we want to trap price. We trap price from the top, which is our resistance. We trap uh, price at the bottom, which is our support. We trap price from the left and from the right with our trend lines, okay? So our trend line is trapping price saying that, hey, it's starting to head down, but it's also respecting our line. So if it touches that line, we know it's gonna bounce off. So now we have, it respecting our, our trend line bouncing off and it also bounced off our support line as well. So the key is you want to trap price where it's at because when you trap price, you can determine where it's going to go. Okay, so I have my trend line. I have my support and resistance line. I look back for clues and then I have my Bollinger Bands and this works nine times out of ten. One thing that you also want to do is look on the right side at price. So we're at the we're on the Great Britain pound and the Canadian dollar. So we're saying that for every one uh, Britain pound is worth currently 1.72 Canadian dollars. So you should understand that, hey, one dollar and 72 cents of Canadian dollar equals one Great Britain pound. Is that worth the price? Is that overbought? Is it oversold? And that's something you should understand and learn how to read these numbers here other than pips, Bollinger Bands, and trend lines, which is really important. You should under, understand price. So all price, all Bollinger Bands are doing, all candlesticks are doing is telling us what price is doing and what may happen. So price is the most important factor in trading. So that way, now that I have my daily and I kind of marked up my chart, what's going on, you can go down to the hourly, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And now we can see it in a microscopic view here. OK, so now we have our Bollinger Bands on an hourly view here. So we have our Bollinger Band kind of underneath the middle line here. So we will wait and see what happens. What I'm hoping will happen is that price will come back down, respect this Bollinger Band, also respecting our trend line that we drew, only to bounce up and go to the upside. OK. Now, since we're on the hourly chart, we have to understand that each candle represents an hour in time or hour of data of price. So you have to understand how long you want to be in a in a in a trade by wondering how long it's going to take for it to move up or move down. OK, so that's completely up to you. Typically, as an intraday trader, you want to stay in a trade no more than 24 hours. OK, so that judging 24 candles will kind of give you an idea of how much movement you're going to get and also which um, pair you're trading with the time frame you're trading as well. All right. So another thing we're going to do is set our, our take profit. So we can set a take profit here at the top of this line. We see a lot of action in this area right here. Let me go ahead back to the daily chart. Okay. So we can set our take profit. This is our trend line here where we're going to trap price. Remember that uptrend is going to may block this area. And then if you look left for clues, you see a cluster of uh, candles here respecting this area on a daily time frame. So each day it just kind of consolidated moving from left to right.
Okay. So this is a good level of take profit as well. And this is a really good profit, profitable trade that I love to trade for intraday trading. So don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we put informational videos like this, and we will see you in the next video. Have a good one.